Hi everybody, it's Miss Kay, one of the reading teachers at Loma Vista. I'm going to read The Best Seat in Second Grade for you. It's one of my son's favorite stories. And I have my guinea pigs behind here, well my daughter's guinea pigs. So I thought maybe at the end I could try to catch one and show you. But you might see them running around behind me. Okay. The Best Seat in Second Grade by Katherine Kenna. Sam had the best seat in second grade. He sat at the back of room 75. He did not sit near the globe or the dinosaur models or the paper pioneer fort. He sat beside George Washington. George Washington was small and round and the color of honey and he sneezed. George Washington was a hamster. Sam loved George Washington more than anything else at school. George Washington was Sam's favorite subject. Sam's teacher, Mr. Hopper, asked, who knows something about lava? It pops out of volcano, said Sam, the way George Washington pops out of his nest. Someone in the front row giggled. Good answer, said Mr. Hopper. Every Monday, Mr. Hopper picked a new hamster helper. The hamster helper got to feed George Washington. The hamster helper got to make toys out of boxes and tubes. The hamster helper also got to play with George Washington. Please, please, oh please, Sam groaned. Please pick me. He crossed his fingers and held his breath. Mr. Hopper reached into the bowl of names. Miguel, he said, you are our new hamster helper. Oh boy, said Miguel. Oh no, said Sam, it's never my turn. Sam was tired of waiting to be hamster helper. He was sure George Washington was tired of his cage. Sam wanted to show George Washington the world outside of room 75. Don't forget, Mr. Hopper reminded his class, tomorrow is our trip to the science museum. Bring your coats, bring your lunches, <clears throat> and bring your permission slips. <laughs> Sam decided to bring something extra. What do you think he's going to bring? Hmm? This chapter is called Pocket Writer. It's a good clue for you. The Science Museum was busy and bright and crowded. Stay in your groups, called Mr. Hopper. The animal sticker on your name tag will tell you which group you are in. Grasshoppers stick together, frogs stick together, dolphins stick together. We don't want anyone to get lost. Sam, said Nina, where is your name tag? In my coat, Sam replied. He reached deep into his pocket and patted George Washington. Sam looked at the sticker on his name tag. I'm a grasshopper. Good, said Nina, I am too. The grasshoppers and frogs and dolphins hung up their coats. Sam, said Ollie, it's warm in here. <laughs> Why don't you take off your coat? I can't, said Sam quickly. I might catch a cold. George Washington sneezed. Hurry up, said Sophie. We're going to the star show at the planetarium. Sam followed the other grasshoppers. He walked slowly and kept his hand over his pocket. Can you hear the pigs? What are you guys doing? The planetarium was round and dark. The class wiggled and waited in rows of seats. When the first star twinkled above, Sam took George Washington out of his pocket. Make a wish, he whispered. George Washington sneezed. No one noticed George Washington. When the grasshoppers whirled through the wind tunnel, George Washington's whiskers flew backward. When the grasshoppers made faces in front of the funny mirrors, George Washington looked like a furry beach ball with huge eyes. No one noticed George Washington. The grasshopper climbed through a giant seashell. They peered into the homes of the future. They poked and laughed at the Bubbles Are a Blast exhibit. George Washington watched and listened and sneezed. Finally, Ollie sat on a bench. I can't walk another step, he said. I'm hungry, said Nina. I'm thirsty, said Miguel. Me too, grumbled Sophie. Sam did not want to eat lunch. George Washington might smell something yummy and pop right out of his pocket. I'll catch up with you later, Sam said, as he dashed down the hall. But Sam, Nina called, where are you going? Grasshoppers are supposed to stick together. Sam ran upstairs and saw a sign for the animal zone. He took a deep breath and said, wait until you see what's here. Sam held George Washington up in front of each display. They looked at baby rabbits and baby chicks. 
George Washington sneezed. Don't look, Sam whispered when they reached a tank of a, of a boa constrictor. George Washington trembled. Now, said Sam, here is the best place of all, the hamster habitat. With, it was a jumble of tubes and tunnels. There were hamster-sized wheels and ladders and slides. Hamsters were everywhere. They were small, they were round, they were the color of honey. Look, Sam whispered to George Washington, family. Can you guess what's going to happen? Make a prediction. Footsteps clatter down the hall as the rest of the grasshoppers rush towards Sam. There you are, Sam, they shouted. Are you all right? I'm fine, said Sam. I was just showing the hamsters too. He stopped talking. George Washington was in his hands. George Washington was right in front of Ollie, Miguel, Sophie, and Nina. Everyone noticed George Washington. Sam, cried Nina, what have you done? Before he could answer, George Washington jumped out of Sam's hands and into the hamster habitat. Sam screamed, he did not move. Oh no, Sophie groaned. Ollie yelled at Sam. Nina yelled at Ollie. Miguel shouted, help! Mr. Hopper hurried up the stairs to the animal zone. The frogs and dolphins followed right behind him. What's wrong, called Mr. Hopper. The grasshoppers pointed to Sam. He pointed to the hamster habitat. Sam moaned, he's gone. Who asked Mr. Hopper? George Washington, mumbled Sam. He's in there. Everybody stared at the sea of busy hamsters. There are too many of them, said the frogs. We'll never find them, said the dolphins. We have to try, said the grasshoppers. Sam's whole class about spread out around the sides of the hamster habitat. Look for something small, said Ollie, and round, said Miguel, and the color of honey, said Sophie. They looked and looked at the hamsters climbing and digging, at hamsters spinning and grooming, at hamsters drinking and eating and sleeping. Sam stood still and watched one, uh, one nest shake and tremble like a volcano. Suddenly, a hamster popped out of the nest just like lava. The hamster was small and round in the color of honey, and it sneezed. Achoo! George Washington cried Sam. He reached down and scooped their hamster into his hands. Nina said, I knew we'd find him. George Washington is Sam's favorite subject. The next day, Sam carried George Washington's cage to the front of room 75. I think it might be safer near you, he said. Mr. Hopper smiled. Good idea. Sam walked slowly back to his seat. Class, asked Mr. Hopper, can you think of anything else we should move up front? Sam, yelled the frogs and dolphins and all of the grasshoppers. Good answer, said Mr. Hopper. George Washington sneezed. Sam grinned and pushed his desk to the front of room 75. For the rest of the year, he sat between his teacher and George Washington. Sam had the best seat in second grade. All right, I'm gonna see if I can catch a guinea pig for you. They're a lot like hamsters. Let's see. This is Ursula. Ursula is our oldest guinea pig. She's also blind, but she's very sweet and very feisty. She has really, I wonder if I can show you, she has pinkish reddish eyes. Can you see? So our guinea pigs like to eat a lot of hay and they also like to eat vegetables. I hope you're eating lots of good food while you're at home. They've been eating a lot of cilantro and carrots and oranges. And I don't know if I can catch any of the other ones. They're a lot faster. I miss you guys. Do lots of reading. Read anything and everything you have. And I will read you more stories later. Bye. Say bye, Ursula.